previously on Ride the Bean. Why do they have so many different... It's a clip-on. Let's drive to Albir and go to Orichem. Some of us have a hard time coordinating our limbs before we've had our morning coffee. We want coffee, but we have such an amazing motorcycle. So let's take the long way over the mountain. Orichen is a local coffee roastery in Albir. It was founded by Michael Ulig in 2012 and is one of the best coffee roasteries in Spain that I know of. We had some espresso and fresh fruit and got talking to the head barista, Patricio. He's a trainer at Costa Blanca Coffee Academy and a veteran in the Spanish coffee scene. How did you get into coffee? Hmm? How did you start working with coffee? It started seven or eight years ago. I wanted to learn more about coffee. It's, I don't know how to explain it. In Spain, in Spain, it's really hard to find a really good coffee. It was a dark, uh, yeah, yeah. bitter, um, bad tasting thing. For that reason, I started to know more about uh, the coffee with what that I'm drinking. Then, when I started, I realized that I love to make coffee. I'm working for three years in the region. National Jets, Aeropress, Sensory Jets, uh, four or five certifications from SCA, and that's all. I love what I do. I, I love to drink coffee. I would like maybe to roast, but I'm not sure. Uh, we can make a cupping with your yeah. origins and your Kenya. Light roasts is not a common thing in Spain, but here at Origen, they're trying to change that. We roast getting the best flavors of this coffee. Uh, they will never get a dark roast or medium roast just because it's more seller. Yeah, you know, course. that's the one of the points that I love from this company. Black charcoal coffee. Yeah, this is uh, mold. <laughs> that's <sort of> horrible. <laughs> You work here for three years now? You're planning on staying in this company or? Yeah. I don't wanna be doing coffee in a coffee shop, you know. Everybody wants to improve. If they bring me the opportunity to stay here improving, why not? What, what do you want to do? Like, what is your dream? <laughs> okay, my dream, <laughs> my, my job is be judging around Europe, maybe the world, being in uh, Barista Wheel of Europe and working in, in a coffee shop or in a roasting, you know, it's dealing with coffee every day. If you want to smell. For someone who's never been to a cupping before, all that slurping can sound pretty strange. The reason we do this though is to draw in more air, which opens up the palate. Really nice Kenya. For me it's like a dark chocolate in the end, lemon and caramel for me. Every Kenya for me smells the same. Chomicho. Just by chance, both of us had the same coffee from the Dambi Udo mill in Ethiopia. Your Dambi Udo is a really, it's really good, but in my opinion, it's a little bit underdeveloped and it tastes like a pipa. I don't know how to say it. That has some flower seed. Uh, but I think the reason is the water. Because um, when, I, when I cupped this one at home, it was super, super juicy and super uh, like fresh. I, I totally agree with you because it's in Spain and in the south of Spain, we have a problem with the, with the water. Yeah. We need to filter it, refilter it and add the minerals. I think my favorite is the Kenya. It tastes like a tomato soup now. This one also. Both of them, they are tomato soup. 
tomato soup. Do you like tomato soup? Mm, no, I, I drink tomato soup for the hangover. Oh. <laughs> it's a really good drink. Thank you so much for setting up this cupping for us, Patricio. We've had a lot of fun. It's always fun to taste some new coffees, even if they sometimes taste like tomato soup. If you like this video and want to see where we go next, subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified when we upload new videos. You can also find us on Instagram at Ride to Bean. Thank you for watching. See you next time.